neighborhood tour in Chicopee, Massachusetts. We'll do now the Chicopee Falls neighborhood. We'll drive around and see some of the important features around the Chicopee Falls area. It borders Chicopee Center and it borders Aldenville and it borders communities such as Ludlow and Springfield around its other edges. And what we're going to do is go by some important features of Chicopee of Falls. To our immediate left, you won't be able to see it unless we swing over, is the old Unaroyal uh, tire plant. It's now quite vacant to say the least. It's been here since I think 1920. Um, it started off as a, a small company um, that turned into Fisk rubber and then the United States rubber during the World War II and then it turned into Unit Royal and now it's quite vacant like I said it includes the mill in the back, the mill in front you can see the nice mill, nicer mill towards the front of the administration okay we're going to go down the street over here called Church Street and we're going to stop in front of a very important building and this important building is where Edward Bellamy lived. Edward Bellamy was a, a person that um, wrote a book, looking looking backwards, I believe it was. Or, and what what it was is a book about the future, uh, and a person in the future looks looked towards all the things that he could have had in the in the past, but in the future they had it then. And there, it was a utopian society, like most utopian societies, it doesn't really work. It's a really nice looking house though, Bellamy House 80, or 91, 93 Church Street. And it's, you, you see it's open at certain times of the day. Um, it's a great place to visit. You can see where he worked. And most of most of this area was old mills on the other left hand side, but you can see residential on this side. Right, so I suggest coming to this place for a visit. And that's the only place in this area of Massachusetts until you get to Springfield that's on the National Register of Historic Places at the level of a national landscape. Le I'm sorry, national uh, location. That's an incredible honor. Alright. And remember now, everything we see right here is modern. What it used to be was worker homes. Worker homes for... The people that lived in the Chicopee Mills. Now we're going to stop once again because this place right here that we're looking at, right to our sharp to right, is the only worker mill homes left in the Chicopee Falls area. There's many left in the Chicopee Center, but there's only this one left in the Chicopee Falls. A store on one side, uh, one part of it, and the other part not. And so, this is it. There used to be hundreds of them. There's one left, right? And that's sad. There was urban renewal. They took most of the things out. And by doing that, they destroyed a lot of the historical buildings. Good point is that you can still see them in the Chickabee Center area. And even the Chickabee Falls Canal has been removed. It's been removed to put in a senior center. They put in a huge dike system. Boy, this person is confused. They put it in the post office here, for instance. All right, here's the senior center and Sister Levin on, on the right hand side. Can you believe it? This used to be all mills in here. And now it was filled in 1935, the canal was. Chickabee had two canals instead of one. And they filled it in because it was getting, this area was getting flooded too much. They put a dike system. And they kept at the very edge mills that were never, never in the original complex. And so what you're seeing now on the right and then on the left, our newer mills made about 1910s, 1920s. The old canal and mills is from 1823. It was only one year after the Lowell Canal was built.
and sadly you could see so little of that old thing that residential home is the only thing out of all the mills and the canals and homes that's left and otherwise you'd never know there was anything here this unit royal came long afterwards it's really not part of the complex all right and what we want to do now is try to get try to get to a place where we can see much more of Chickby Falls So we saw how the middle class lived, uh, the lower economic classes lived, right? And, but there's much, much more to this area. And people don't often appreciate that fact. So we're gonna go on a street called Grove Street. And for instance, on the left-hand side, you see a beautiful bright red home, right? Remember that the lowest class the middle class and the highest class all lived together and so the people that started up these these places would all be associated with each other and as you drive through here you start to see a lot of these different kind of homes right rich homes poor homes middle class homes and people don't always appreciate that because you don't get off the main highway and start to look around at what's around this building right here is a superintendent's building to their left we're going to enter Broadway Street very soon and Broadway Street is like the backbone of a lot of Chicopee Falls and we won't go down too far on the street but we'll go enough to see some of it we're not going to see the St. John uh Church but we're going to see a park here Behind this park, if you go down a little further, there's the Fairview Cemetery, the Holy Rosary Cemetery. Right? Back, there is the East Street Cemetery. And one more thing I want to show you in the Chicken Falls. Lots of churches, and you're going to see one on the left hand side. It's rectories on the first thing on the left. And this is the St. Patrick's Church. This is the second location for it. Its first location was on the other side of the Chicopee River. Where there was also the Chicopee Cemetery. And you can see on the immediate left this beautiful uh, St. Patrick's uh, Church. To a lot of people, this is one of the symbols of the Falls area of Chicopee. So there's a lot more to see. There's the other side of the Chicopee River. Uh, which also has the start of Westover and also has the start of Alderman neighborhood. So there's a lot to there and you really have to get out on the side streets to see what's up there. So thank you for coming on this Falls neighborhood tour of Chickabee.